Our objective in this lesson is to illustrate the following set relationships. We have union, intersection, difference, and complement of a set using a Venn diagram. Let's have a quick review. Given the sets below, draw a happy face on the space provided if the statement is correct and a sad face if the statement is false. Given, universal set contains 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. Number 1, the cardinality of the universal set is equal to 7. Let us count the number of the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is a happy phase. Number 2, empty set is a subset of the universal set. We have learned from our previous lesson that an empty set is a subset of every set. So, an empty set is a subset of the universal set. This is a happy phase. Number three, elements 4, 8, 12 is a subset of the universal set. Do we have 4, 8, and 12 here? Yes, we do. Therefore, this is a happy phase. Number four, the universal set is an infinite set. We have counted the elements in the universal set, so therefore this is not an infinite set, but a finite set. Number four is a sad phase. Number five, the universal set is a well-defined set. These are even numbers from 2 to 14, so this is a well-defined set. Happy phase. Next, number six, the universal set contains all natural numbers less than 15. Natural numbers less than 15 is starts from 1 up to 14. But we do not have 1 here, 3, 5, 7, and the in-between numbers. So therefore, this is a sad phase. Let us define Venn diagram. It is a pictorial representation of relations and operations on set. It is named after English logician John Venn. To give you an idea, here are the common Venn diagrams that we use. The first set relationship that we are going to discuss is the union of sets. Given sets A and B, union of sets denoted by this symbol is the set of all elements found in set A or in set B or in both A and B. The set builder notation of this is A union B is the set of all X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B or X is an element of A and B. The Venn diagram for union of sets is this one. These are the elements of set A. These are the elements of set B. These are the common elements of A and B. Let's have an example. So set A contains the elements January, June, and July. Set B contains the elements January, February, March, April, May, and June, the first six months of the year. Now, if we want to determine A union B, these are the elements found in set A. So those are January, June, and July. Found in set B, so we have January to June. We're not going to rewrite January and June because we already have it here. So we have February, March, April, and May. Now, for the common elements of A and B, these are January and June. To show you the Venn diagram of this, let us construct a diagram for set A. So this is set A, contains the elements January, June, and July. Let's construct a diagram for set B. These are the months from January up to June. Now, since set A and set B have common elements, let us combine them. So, January and June are the common elements of set A and set B. So, A union B are the elements found in set A. 
Those are January, June, and July. Elements found in set B. Those are January, February, March, April, May, and June. And the elements found in both set A and set B. Those are January and June. The second set relationship is the intersection of sets. Again, given sets A and B, intersection of sets denoted by this symbol, concave downward, is the set of all elements that are common to both A and B. The set builder notation for this is A intersection B is the set of all X such that X is an element of A and X is an element of B. So the Venn diagram for intersection of sets is this one. So common to both sets A and B, just the common element. So this middle part here. Let us have again our example. This time, we're going to look for A intersection B, the common elements. Let us draw first a diagram for set A, and this time a diagram for set B. So the first thing that you need to do is to look for the common elements of sets A and B. So those are January. So let's put January here. And we also have June. So let us put June here. Now, let us add the remaining elements found in set A. That would be July. And the remaining elements found in set B. That would be February, March, April, and May. So the intersection of set A and B are their common elements. And those are January and June. The next set relationship is difference of sets. Again, we have sets A and B. Difference of sets, denoted by minus sign, is the set of elements found in A but not in B. The set builder notation for this is A minus B is the set of all X such that X is an element of A and X is not an element of B. The Venn diagram for difference of sets is this one. So these are the elements found in A but not found in B. So again, let's have our example. So A minus B are the elements found in A but not found in B. Let us recall our Venn diagram earlier. So we are going to look for the elements found in A but not found in B. So take a look at the picture here. So that would be July. This is the only element found in A but not found in B. Let's take a look at here. We have January and June in set B but we do not have July in set B. Therefore, the only element found in set A that is not in set B is July. So A minus B is equal to July. Now, what if I want B minus A? So this means the elements found in set B, but not in set A. So let us take a look of the elements found only in set B, but not in set A. So those are February, March, April, and May. Let us examine this. The elements that are in set B, but not in set A, are February, March, April and May. You can easily see it here. So B minus A would be the elements found in set B but not found in set A. The last set relationship that we are going to discuss is the complement of A. So complement of A denoted by this symbol, we read this as A prime. Elements found in universal set but not found in set A. The set builder notation for this is A prime is the set of all X such that X is an element of the universal set and X is not 
an element of A. The Venn diagram for complement of A is this one. So the elements that are found in the universal set but not found in set A. Let's have an example. The universal set is the set of all x such that x is a month in a year. So those are January to December. And we are given set A is the set of all x such that x is a month in a year that starts with letter J. So what are those months? Those are January, June, and July. So to solve for the complement of A, A prime, let us draw first the universal set. So a rectangle with the symbol of the universal set somewhere here. And then let us draw a diagram for set A. Set A is a month in a year that starts with letter J. So those are January, June, and July. So what are the other months of the year that does not start with letter J? We have February, March, April, May, August, September, October, November, and December. Therefore, A prime is, again, February, March, April, May, August, September, October, November, and December. These are the elements that you find in the universal set, but not in set A. Try this. The universal set is the set of all X such that X is a letter in the English alphabet. Set A are the short letters. We have A, C, E, I, M, N, O, R, S, U, V, W, X, and Z. Set B are the fall letters. G, J, P, Q, Y. Set C are the tall letters. B, D, F, H, K, L, T. Set D is the set of all X such that X is a vowel. And set E is the set of all X such that X is a consonant. Number one, B, what symbol is this again? Intersection. B, intersection D, meaning common elements found in set B and set D. What is set B? These are the fall letters. And what is set D? Set D is A, E, I, O, U. So there are no common elements, so our answer is null set. Number two, A minus E. The elements that are found in set A, but not in set E. So again, set A are the short letters. And how about set E? These are the consonant letters. So what we are going to do is to cancel first all the consonants here. So let us cancel C, and then we have M, N, R, S, V, W, X, and Z. So the elements that we found in set A, but not in set E, are A, E, I, O, and U. Next, number three, A prime. The elements found in the universal set, but not in set A. So remember, the universal set is a letter from the English alphabet. And set A again are the short letters. So what are the letters in the English alphabet that is not in set A? Since set A is the set of the short letters in the English alphabet, Therefore, the other letters are the fall letters and the tall letters. Those are A prime. These are the elements that you found in the universal set, but not in set A. Last one, number four, C union E. So these are the elements found in set C, set E, and in both set C and E. So elements found in set C, what are those? These are the tall letters. How about the letters found in set E? The consonant letters. So what 
are the consonant letters that is not yet included in the tall letters. So we have C, we have G, J, M, N, P, Q, R, S, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So these are the letters found in set C and in set E consonants and in both set C and set E. Let us do extra challenge. Number one, let us determine the universal set. So this is the combination of set A, set B, set C, and don't forget this 10 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Number two, this is A union B. So we're just going to remove the shade in set C. So this is from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Number three, quantity A union B prime. So we're going to work first at the innermost, those inside the parentheses in a group. So A union B. So we already have that. But it says here prime, meaning elements that we find in the universal set, but we do not find in A union B. If these are A union B, then A union B prime is 8, 9, and 10. These are the elements found in the universal set, but do not belong in set A union set B. Number four, let us remove first our colors here. So we have A union, the quantity, A intersection B. So let us identify first A intersection B. This is the one in parentheses. So A intersection B, again, meaning common elements of A and B. The common elements of A and B are 3 and 5. Now, we are going to combine it with union with elements of A. Here are the elements of A. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Number 5. Let us remove again our colors. So, we have the group of A, union B, intersection C. So, let us identify first A, union B. So, we have A. Union B, so these are the elements. Now, intersection with set C. So where are the elements of A union B intersection with set C? That would be this one. We have 1, 5, and 7. Okay, let's remove our colors. Number 6, we have the group of A union B minus the group of A intersection B. So, A union B again, we have A union B and then minus the intersection of A and B, the common elements of A and B. Again, the common elements of A and B are 3 and 5. So, we're going to subtract that. So, what is left? We have 1, 2, 4, 6, and 7. Last one, let us remove first our colors here. So we have the intersection of the group A intersection B with the group B intersection C. So let us identify first the common elements of A and B. The common elements of A and B again are 3 and 5. This time, the intersection of B and C, the common elements of B and C. So here is B, here is C. Their common elements are 5 and 7. So the intersection of the common elements of A and B with B and C is what? 5. So the answer here is 5. For the summary, here are the things that we discussed in this lesson. The union of sets, the intersection of sets, the difference of sets, and the complement of A or A prime. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time.
Let us answer. We are given the universal set from 0 up to 10. Set A contains the elements 0, 1, 2, 4, 8, and 10. And set B contains the elements 1, 2, 4, 8, and 10. Number 1, A minus B. So we are going to subtract the elements in set B from set A. So we have 1, 2, 4, 8, 10. We're going to cancel these numbers from set A. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 10. So what is left? We only have 0. Number 2, the other way around. B minus A. So we're going to subtract the elements of set A from set B. So the elements of set A again, 0, 1, 2, 4, 8, 10. We're going to subtract these elements from set B. So what would be left? Nothing. So the answer here is an empty set because these elements are all found in set B. So if we are going to subtract these elements from set B, then nothing would be left. So we have empty set. Number three, we have B intersection A prime. So A prime again are the elements found in the universal set but not found in A. So let us cancel first the elements that we see in set A in our universal set to determine A prime. So we have here 0, so let us cancel 0. Let us cancel 1, 2, 4, 8, and 10. So this means our A prime contains the elements 3, 5, 6, 7, and 9. Now, we already have the A prime. Let us get the intersection of A prime with set B, meaning the common elements of set B and A prime. So here is set B. Let us look for their common elements. 1, no. 2, no. 4, no. 8, no. 10, no. So it means there is no common element of set B and A prime. So once again, our answer here is an empty set. Last one, number four, B union A prime. So these are the elements found in B, in A prime, and in both B and A prime. So we're just going to combine the elements in set B and A prime. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Gets? Our next lesson is solving problems involving sets with the use of Venn diagram.